Obatala is the subject. We say, E kwa baba, E kwa obatala, Obara o, Ayila, Ayila to otomo. This is a greeting to all the devotees of, Obata, of Obatala. Obatala has many names. And each one of these names are extremely interesting. Obatala is also known as Orishala. Obatala means the king, the god of purity. Orishala, the Orisha of purity. Orishala, the big Orisha, strong, universal. Let us have a look on a short song of Obatala as an introduction. Ala, ala ni moro. Iku koni roju kwa mi e wo ala ni mo wo ala ala ni mo ro Iku koni roju kwa mi e wo ala ni mo wo ala ala ni mo ro Ejo ni roju she mi e wo ala ni mo wo ala ala ni mo ro Ofu ni roju she mi e wo ala ni mo wo as in it goes, uh, Allah. Allah means purity. That is, I'm encapsulated in the purity of Obatala, in the protections of Obatala. No illness, no premature death, no sufferness will penetrate into my life. So we all know that Obatala is the symbol of purity, is the Orisha of creativity, is the Orisha of harmony, is the Orisha of the soul dream peace. Obatala is the Orisha of calmness. Obatala is the Orisha of serenity. Obatala is also one of the primordial Orishas which the Dumari created with their share to create the solid soil, solid land, to create the universe in Yoruba Pantheon. But uh, the most important point I would like to point out in Obatala is that uh, every one of us we have in our mind the essence of Obatala, which we need to invoke and wake up from our soul, from our mind. Everyone has his own creative mind. This I share with God from Obatala. Everyone has his sense of harmony, of peace, of understanding, of purity, we also get all this from Obatala. Obatala was created by Elidumari to give, to transmit these ashes to human race. Now, I'm trying to say that in my own personal understanding, the ashe of Obatala enters, comes into our individual life. Whenever we want to take a decision, we use our creative mind to put on the weight what to do, what is not to be done. Our imagination, what we create from our creative mind, no matter how big, how small it is, everyone possesses his own creative mind. And thanks to this, our creative mind, we create our own way of life. We create our missions in life or we discover our missions in life. Our creative mind is responsible to, uh, to identify part of our talents. Obatala is the guardian of human's talent and our human's talent is what you need to create 
And what we create is what will be our biography, our legacy in life. So uh, we can look to this Orisha as a vital Orisha in our life. When we study the Batala, we find out that uh, Obatala, apart from what uh, the mythology says, that he was responsible for the creation of the human body, that is, it was Obatala who got the mission from Elidumari to mold human's body. And this is why we have the song in honor of Obatala, which goes like this. Eni shoju shemu orishani maasin. Adani saye orishani maasin. Eni dani bi motiri orishani maasin. To you I will be devoted. The orisha that created the physical aspect of my face, my eyes, my nose, my mouth, my physical body. The one that's uh, the Orisha divinity that gives the support for me to be in this universe. To you, my devotion. The Orisha that created me the way I am, my devotion to you. So in one aspect, we can notice that uh, uh, we are created physically in Yoruba mythology with the support of Obatala. So we have in, this, in, our, in our concept of life, Ara, the body, and Emi, the soul or the spiritual essence. Obatala assisted in the creation of human body and the Dumari is the one responsible to give the, the vital energies. Emi, the vital energies are composed by Emi for the function of the ara of the body. But uh, Obatala doesn't create only the, the, the body in our mythology, but it also creates how to bring that from our body how to bring out from our mind, from our imaginations, from our vital energies, all the essence that we define whom we are. We are what we create. We are our inspiration. We are, we are what we do. So both, are, both what we do, which has to do with what we create, and what we create has to do with our imagination. The form part of our personalities, the form part of our legacy and our importance in life. If we look to human race in our life, we have so many important people that have contributed immensely to, this, to the better life of human race. They are the inventors. They are those who, are cre who have created many good things that support the well-being of human race. Thanks to the Asha of Obatala, because in Orisha belief, all the solutions for life is in our planet. It's a matter of identifying this. For all problems, for all solutions, for all difficulties, we will always find solutions among the human race. And all this has to do with abilities, talent, intelligence, creativity, and Obatala is also the guardian of this. So we cannot just limit 
they are sure for Batala to the physical body only. But we have this uh, the exploration, the manipulation of what is not physical in human's life. Our physical body become the voices of our soul, of our spiritual vitalities, of our spiritual mind. What we cannot imagine, we cannot create. And what we don't create cannot exist. So this is uh, the point where Obatala came in as also the Risha of civilization. We often find solutions to our crisis, to our problems. We always find someone who has a revolutionary mind or creation that change or improve things in life. Human race was capable of sending men to the moon in search of a new planet. This has to do with our imagination. This has to do with our creativities. This has to do with our intelligence. This has to do with our process of civilization. And this is where Obatala come in into our life. So we can say we are whom we are based on the ashe we received from Obatala. Obatala is a solution to many things in human's life because he is the one that's responsible for our creation. And what saves human's life is what he managed to create. Of course, we create our problems with our creativities and we create solutions also into our problems or our needs based on our creativities also. So our creative mind, either for good things or for bad things, has their share of Obatala. Secondly, we have Obatala as the symbol of error. Tutu. Error means harmony. A symbol of balance for things to be harmonized to be synchronized, to function differently without any shock or any problems. Of course, uh, we have to look to Batala as the, as the Orisha that also contributes to our social life because Genetically, we are different, either by the vital of our biological genetics, spiritual, mental, emotional genetics. We are all different. And we have to live together because this is our civilization. We need to live together. And how can we cope with each other with so many different thoughts, temperaments, beliefs, characters, personalities. It is the Ashura of Obatala that brings this to us. This is why we socially in Yoruba society have the devotion for Obatala for the concept of to bring a road to Aye, that is for Obatala to make life more harmonized. And this process of harmonization, it is based on how we can tolerate, accept, understand our differences. So I'm talking about uh, the principles of Obatala. We have in Obatala philosophy many good things that serves our daily life. Obatala brings peace, harmony into our ori. People drink the water from 
the altar of Obatala to have more peace in their lives, to have more calmness, to have more serenity, to have more emotional, mental, spiritual balances. So Obatala is also a devotion for our well-being. And we must always remember that everything that human beings create, those creators, inventors, talented people, intellectually, artistically, or any form of talent, they got this from Obatala. Because Elidumari knew that human race will need to create solutions for life and for individual survivalness, we need to create our own thoughts, our own perceptions, our own understanding. This doesn't mean that we are right or we are wrong, but this is how a human being's function. We cannot just be a robot in life. So Batala is behind our survivalness in this individual way and collective way. Obatala is the leading Orisha among what we call those we called Orisha Fufu. That is the Orisha of harmony, of peace, the Orisha of neutrality. We call it Orisha Fufu, white Orisha. But the meaning is neutrality. It is not only by the color. This is very important. Because people think it is Orisha Fufu is only by the color. Fufu means white. But the real meaning of Orisha Fufu in the case of Obatala and the other Orishas like Olojo, Ajay, all the Orisha Fufus, let us say this way, uh, they represent neutrality, point of harmony, point of balance. And this concept of Orisha Fufu represents defense, protection. As I've said in the beginning, Alani Moro, I'm encapsulated in purity, in harmony of Obatala. So it is good that we understand that Orisha Obatala and all the Orisha Funfuns, they symbolize, they represent neutrality. And neutrality means point of balance. This sense of neutrality, it helps to maintain our society in harmony. What do we mean by the Orisha of neutrality? The Orisha that gives us the sense not to interfere in someone else's life. To accept, as we can see in, in, in Obatala's song, Adani Bochiri, the one that created me the way I am. So this is why it is taboo in Yoruba civilization to make joke, to make fun, fun, to make an anecdote with someone's physical deficiency. It's a taboo. Because no one is responsible for his or physical, mental, emotional situation. For instance, I personally believe that uh, to be intelligent is not a quality. Because to be intelligent is by blessing. To be creative artistically, to have this artistic ability, it is, not a, it is a matter of talent. It's not a quality. What you do with your talent gives you the quality. Someone is intelligent not because the person is good or smart. It is because the nature makes the person to be intelligent. So, Obatala and the Orisha Funfuns, they contribute 
with the selection of the revolutionary minds or souls, if you can call it this way, that we change, improve, and bring solutions to to human race. And for me, this is what more most attract me when I study about Allah. We have some other important informations also, like rhythm. We have this song we sing for Batalan for Ifa and some other Orishas, which is Eso Eso Nigbi Infa Gungi O Baba Rubu Eso Eso Nigbi Infa Gungi Igbi Kolowo Igbi Kolese Eso Eso Nigbi Infa Gungi The snail climb at its own rhythm slowly climb the tree. He has no arms, no legs, but he climbed the tree at his own speed. When we look di deeply into this, it is to recognize the different rhythms we have in life. Some people will be like a leopard, like a lion, and some people will be like a snail. So everyone has his own rhythm, and this needs to be respected. So, when we look to Abatala in a philosophical aspect, it means that uh, when I study this song, I cannot intend to transform someone with the speed or the rhythm of a bee, of a snail, into a speed of a of a leopard. That is, uh, Abatala as a symbol of purity, of harmony, Will all will also balance our lives so that we can coexist together without any emotional crisis. The devotees of Abatala they celebrate life to have peace, to have harmony, to have calmness. Abatala is the Orisha of balance, to bring balance into life, to bring balance into our crisis, to bring balance into our difficulties, to bring balance into our problems. Obatala is the Ashe for each one to discover is our creativities, talents, and rhythm in life so that we can achieve our purpose of being in this universe.